So my camera battery is dead, so I'm going to attempt my phone. HTC MAs. Anyways, um, this is the Zotec um, Zbox Nano. Uh, it has the AMD Dual Core 1.6 E350 plus a 6310 GPU. Uh, I st stuck 4 gigs of Corsair memory in it and a 60 gig for, uh, OCZ Vertex solid state, Vertex 2. On the front it has IR uh, sensor, um, media uh, like card slot, mic, whatever. On the back it has two USB 3.0s, two USB 2.0s, SATA, HDMI, and display port, and gigabit Ethernet, and it has built in Wi Fi and Wi Fi wireless N and Bluetooth. Um, and it has obviously the remote, which this camera's not picking up as good as my other one would. Uh, but anyways, um, I put on Windows 7, replaced the boot screen with my own little custom Xbox Media Center one. Plus, I replaced the shell and it replaced, and uh, so it boots right in Xbox Media Center. I'll just go ahead and turn it on. user screen sometimes comes up but it rarely ever does there it goes right in Xbox Media Center there's no da uh, desktop there's no dash uh, a taskbar or anything like that to run in applications you got to go into task manager um, so anyways this is Xbox Media Center running the Aeon skin um, I threw on a bunch of random backgrounds that's just the sound kind of kicking and kicks out the HDMI for some reason TV shows, movies, put on a bunch of different backgrounds. Um, the movie section here. Um, just got the movie list. Uh, all the clip art uh, is grabbed from movie, uh, some movie database. I can't remember which one. I don't, I don't think it's IMDb. Uh, grabs cover art. All the information about the movie, ratings, year, and then file information. And when you actually hit information on the remote, it loads up about what's about the movie's about, um, actors, cast, length, duration, year, all that uh, crap. Um, there are different view modes. Uh, like there's this one you saw. There's kind of like a tile art kind of thing here. Um, I'll just go through them here. You can see them for yourself. That's the basic one. So it's side scroller. And the next one's the same thing. But makes it look like they're C or, um, like CD holders, like a little transparent CD case. Once again, there's a bunch of variations of that. This one's kind of cool. Once again, another nice little 3D side scroller. This one's kind of cool because it has background description on the right. And it's just nicely laid out, I think. Uh, just another one kind of like that. And uh, But anyways, this is where we started off. So, I mean, you can go and play a movie, obviously. That's the whole point of it. Uh, you can go back while the movie's playing and kind of like look at through other movies if you want to watch something else. Like 
Avatar. Obviously, subtitles, which I do not like on. I forgot how to turn it off. There it is, subtitles disabled. Soon this will be all on my Crestron remote, obviously. The video probably isn't picking it up, but it is very smooth. Um, what else? The other cool thing is the, um, the TV section. has a, all the different uh, views as well. I'm not going to go through them. Here it kind of goes through my media, finds out what seasons it's in, getting all the clip art, and uh, the names of all the episodes, star ratings, all this other jazz. And then once again, uh, the info button brings up all the information that it automatically grabbed. Um, May as well end it off with the uh, remote here. The boot up that you saw at the start there, that's just when it's on a fresh boot. On the remote, there's a discrete on and off of the top, on and off. So when you go to off, it's instantly off. As you see here, red light, it's off, and the top light will kind of flash. And then when you hit on, it goes right back to where it was. So, it's, uh, once it's implemented, it'll be very quick to turn on and off. And um, there's a lot more I can possibly do for it. But anyways.